pattern. So starting out with 37 moves, close stand B. First move, first technique, squat on the left side. Inner form block, spin repeat on Chen G, look into the direction. The uh, blocking hand will stay under. Looking at the back stance, stepping out to the back stance, inner form. Going up. Second move, which all our students have to work on technique, is to slide the front foot halfway. We're changing it to our front stand. We'll reach down the bottom. This is a holding hand, it goes all the way to your chest. We'll slide out to the front stand and we're gonna go face up spear for inner thigh. So slide out, pivot in your back leg, make sure you're aiming low, front chest up. Grab it with the front hand, we're pulling back for our back to slow block. Sliding back to your center, coming back to like the juvie position again. We're going up, the back hand's gonna hit. The back fist, the front hand's gonna block right, low block right in front of your body. That's the left side technique. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Blocking hand under, back stands, slide halfway, sliding leg's gonna be a ball foot reaching down right away. The other hand's by the belt, slide to the front stand, face up the spear, going for the inner thigh, pulling the front hand up, going for the back to slow block. Right here in front of your body, you don't hold your hands to the side, keep it right here, the back fist hitting behind you. Moving on with the pattern moves, left leg steps out, hands eye level, right here, strike down for the double, uh, for the X, low X block, right down for blow. Lifting up your back heel, bring it up, dropping it to the double punch, get that momentum, eye level again, back leg's going to do a front kick. And drop it with the two punches. Down. Don't forget your sideways. Coming up. Technique two for take it. Coming up for stance. We're going to our W block. Now, first of all, our hands gonna look like a W. It's gonna be square to our body. It needs to be open wide a little bit. Look like a letter W exactly. First move is gonna make complete straight step. One thing I want you guys focus on: your step is complete straight. Right at the end, it's all your hip movement and power to twist. Go into that position. That's your W block. Whoever's doing the technique, I need five techniques from him. Everybody else needs six techniques in the pattern. W block stepping straight in, up, twisting hip. Number two, go in the same direction. Going straight, twist the hip. Pushing your knees out, make sure you're not landing on either side. Three W block going to the right side, my right side. Up, body in, body in, body in, and going back to the center for a pattern, back to the same spot. Coming up, sliding up, right leg, staying in the line, reaching up. These are not part of the techniques for some of the students, this is a full pattern. Going to our L stands, a low double guarding. We're going to keep it low, switching to our front stands. Halfway, going to grab the neck. Now you don't need a lot of power for the grabbing the neck. You're just going to be a lighter, but keep breathing. Grabbing to the throat, hitting to the knee. Back knee is going to hit the knee strike. Now make sure your hand doesn't go through. You're not going through the knee. Get a hold it halfway. Imagine you actually have the real head in your hands. Dropping it down, switching feet, reaching up. Technique three, take a pattern. Sliding, reaching up, double line fit. Coming down. All right, we're gonna slide back, change your body position to a front stance. We're keeping our first thing with a lead leg front kick. So I want you to guys slide your front foot back. It's like a circle of motion before you pick it up. Don't pick your knee up from here. You're not gonna lose balance of dropping forward. We need to slide it back. Front kick control. A. We're going for the spear. Right for the head. Spear head. Right for the neck level. That's why we're dropping down to our front stand. We're not all the way up, so you have to be in the front stand. Second side, go over the right side, reaching up. Double knife in. Same thing, sliding back, change your body to a front stand. You gotta turn your hip, shoulders straight forward. Front kick, control and aim, drop with the spear right at the neck. Now, continue with the pattern moves. We're stepping back with our front leg, we're going to the back fist punch. So, hands across, imagine you have the rope around you again. Push, but you gotta pull those arms down fast, snap it open. So stay in the middle, bubble foot that's moving all the way to the back stance, snap it open fast. Snapping in, back fist with the back hand, 
low block with the front hand. Our next move is a jump. Now, jump needs to happen with both knees. My back knee is gonna go up first. My front leg is gonna follow. So both knees are gonna jump up in the air. Lifting it up, and we're gonna drive our heel down to the front floor. So once we go up, it's not about how forward we jump. Uh, it's not about distance, it's about a height. So we're gonna go up. Bring your up, knees up. Drive your heel down to the floor. Hands, arms, curl across. Low backs again. So it has to happen at the same time. One more time. Bring your back leg up, knees up. Fall by the front knee. Up, down. It's like hammering down the ground. Continuing with the pattern. Reaching up, double in the forearm. Stepping up to the front stand. Pushing up to the elbow and forearm. Going up to our technique four. Now, remember not to spin from here. Always come up to your center, reaching up. Now we're gonna step to our left side. Low double knife in. Exactly, exactly like how we hold a high, we're gonna bring it down. So the high double knife in, we keep our hands up. Low, we keep it low steady. Back hand closer to the front leg. Front hand, it's gonna curl over the front leg. Now, from this position, we're gonna slide out and go into our scoop, just like a one yoke pattern we've done. Scoop it four, sliding out halfway, hands gonna come up shoulder level, sliding out to the front stand, going down deep for a scoop, coming up, block in a four. Two step switch, sliding the front foot back, number one, switching, reaching, number two, stepping out to the back stands, going for the low double life again, back stand position. Sliding out, going to our scoop. Now, from the next two moves, if you're doing any technique, you need to pivot from this position without stepping. We're just turning and pivoting our feet. Now our angle in the body is gonna be different. That's what we're going for a, a third scoop. Hands again comes up to shoulder, lunge down. Coming up with the uniform, make sure you keep your forearm in your, right in front of your belly. And the fourth one, pivoting again, scooping down. Right in front of the belly. Finishing up with our horse stand punch. Coming up, aiming in the center, exactly where we started. Dropping to your horse stance, and take. Make sure you push your knees out. Don't lean on one side every time you guys are step to the horse stand. Finishing it in this pattern, rather than turns. Come back to center, and back. 